Friday, y'all. So I promised you guys Monday I would do a video where I showed you guys my go-to products, my favorite products I use day in, day out, and everything. So I have one basket full of little goodies and then another basket. So we're just going to jump right in to the first basket. The first basket that I have has all of my lip eye products in them. First one I want to talk to you about is my makeup brushes. One of these is the Real Techniques Crease Prep Brush. It's purple. You guys can see. It just has the flat end. It blends out. It preps your crease. I got them. I got this one along with its other one by Real Techniques. This one's the Defining Crease. It just defines out your crease when you're putting it. Makes it perfect. I got both of those together in a pack at Ulta. I would say when I lived in Ohio on sale, they're not that bad of a price for amazing, amazing for your like I guess I don't know what I'm trying to say here. Next one is the Lash and Brow one by e.l.f. Looks like this. I use this mostly on my lashes right after I use my mascara. I just comb through them so they don't bunch together. Next one, I got this little guy in my Etsy bag like a long time ago. It is the Luxie Short Shader 223. Looks like this. One of my favorite go-to everyday eyeshadow brushes. Next thing is my NYX Lip Primer Base. It is just a nude sand color, if you guys can see. I use this every time before I put on liquid lipstick, lip gloss, matte lipsticks, any type. It just preps your lips, makes it easier to go on so it doesn't get clumpy or fall off easy. Next one, oh my god, these are my favorite. I bought a ton of these at Ulta. They were on sale for like $1.29, and I went crazy. It's been a been a couple months. So these are the Wet Wild Gel Lip Liners. I talked about one of these earlier in my video, if you guys watched, when I was at Walmart before I went in with the lipstick I'm wearing. So this little guy, I believe, I talked about him earlier. No, I did not. This one is 2 260 do Don't Be a Prune. It is a wine colored, you guys can see it's like wine colored. I wear these, I don't always match my lipsticks with those. Um, this next one is Bear to Commit, it is a 6151B. It's like a mauve pink. It looks like that if you guys can see it. My next, I have a ton of these. My next one is the Lay Me Down to Mauves. It's a mauve color. Really pretty for fall, transitioning from from fall, summer into fall. Like I said, I wear these. I always usually don't pair my lipsticks. I just slam my lips so my lipstick stays on or my liquid lipsticks especially or just a regular lipstick so it just has something to stay there. This next little one is Never Petal Down. It's a pink color, but it's not too bright, but not too under. And that's that little guy right there. Like I said, you get these at Walmart, Target, Ulta. Target and Walmart have them for about two to two fifty, around three, I think, at Target. I think they're like two fifty nine at Target. Next color, I know I talked about this one earlier today. It's the plum color that I had on. I'll swatch it for you guys anyway because I know my connection earlier was like really bad. There's that one right there. I'm a sucker for a good dark lip in the fall and winter. I'd wear dark lips all year if I could. But next little guy is got the juice. It's another another dark color. It's right there if you guys can see. Like I said, if you find these, even if they're not on sale, get a few, get a couple. They are amazing. This next one is a nude, and it's one of my favorites because it's actually a nude nude. It's not a nude with a pink undertone. It's not a nudie pink. It's straight on nude, like skin color nude. And there's days when I want to wear a nude lip, and I'm like, I need a nude lip liner. But some have pink, some's a pinky nude, and I'm like doesn't go with what I'm wearing. So when I found this little guy, I grabbed him. 
This one is called Sand Nudes. Let me tell y'all. Went wild. It's right there. You can barely even see it. But it looks like this. I believe that's all of those. Next little guy is the NYX Professional Wonder Pencil. Um, this is the shade White to Clear. I popped this little guy on my... Yeah, I, I pop this little guy on my lips to sometimes carve them, I guess, is what you would say. Or if I'm doing a nude look and before and I didn't have a lip liner, I would use this and works the same. Got that at Ulta. Next little guy is my new brow pencil that I'm actually wearing. It is the Essence 24 hour, 24 hour Super Last Eyebrow Waterproof. It's just a retractable eyebrow pencil on this end. The spoolie is a little bit different on this end. It actually has like teeth so you comb through instead of using the spoolie to brush it through. Um, this was like two something at Ulta and it is the shade 20 brown. It's like a medium shade. The next thing I want to talk about is the Essence Waterproof Eye Pencil in Silky Nude. I popped this little guy in my waterline if I want my eyes to be bigger. Um, Anything in your waterline should be waterproof, even if it's a black, colored, silky, it should be waterproof so it doesn't just go off easy. Next thing is my eyeshadow base that I got from Essence when I went to Ulta. This is actually a, it's called Baja, but it's actually a skin tone color. A little goes a long way. I used it today for the first time and I had to use a makeup blender small ones blended out because i had way too much product on once i got it blended my eye shadow set really perfect it doesn't crease which i love i love a good eyeshadow base that doesn't make your eyes crease because if you don't wear one it creases in the crease or it just doesn't hold pigment long my favorite one of my favorite concealers is the mabel maybelline age rewinder i love this stuff i'm in the shade white pell walmart target also sells it it's around eight dollars, I think. One of my other ones, I bought this. It's Estee Lauder Double Wear Instant Fix Concealer. On this side, you have the hydration that goes under your eyes to prep them, and then on the other side, you have your twenty-four hour concealer in the Dove applicator, like this. I'm in the shade. Uh, ultra light, which is um, 0.5 N. I do have pink undertones, so when you go to choose it, it'll ask you if you have yellow undertones or pink undertones. So choose the one that you know. This little guy runs about, I think, 30 to 31 dollars at Ulta, but I got it when it first came out. Next is my mascara, Maybelline Falsies Volume. Sorry, looks just like this. Walmart. I actually had this at Walmart for I think around seven. It's one of my favorites. It doesn't clump. It makes you guys look like you have false lashes when you don't. Next little product is the Lancome um, base mascara. You put this on before you put your mascara on. It's white. It goes on but it does not show through. It actually dries clear. It just helps boost and give you that volume. If you don't have full lashes, but you don't like wearing false lashes. Or in my case, you can't get false lashes to stay on. I'd like to, thank, I'd like to say hi to everyone who is watching and who has liked my video. Next up is my lipsticks. I also got these at Ulta when they were on sale. Guys, amazing. If you love liquid lipsticks, you will love these. This is the Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit by Wet n Wild. This one, first one is Rebel Rose in the shade Rebel Rose. It is 924B. It is a really, really pretty, I'm going to say mauve color. They, look at that. It's like a pink purple. It's gorgeous. And they're also cruelty free if you guys like something like that. Next one is this shade and it is Toffee. Toffee Talk. It is a brownish purple, I want to say. 
kind of reminds me of toffee, which is, it's, it looks brownish purple in the tube, but once you swatch it, it's like a brown. It's kind of a toffee brown, maybe a little bit lighter. Next one is my, one of my darkest outside of my other lipstick. This one is caramel cake. And this one is actually a dark, dark, dark brown. But guys, these go on so smooth. I pair them with my lip liners, stick it in my purse. It wears amazing. Like, it just, it wears amazing. Next up, if you guys did not see my video Monday night, I'm going to talk about my new Contrice Ulta, my Ulta Matte Shade 40. It's... What I'm wearing right now, it's a dark purple wine color. It's right there. This wore practically all day. I did um, retouch it up right before I came on because I'd been eating and drinking. So it lasted me through 30 minutes cup of coffee, Walmart, home, dinner. I did touch it up after dinner because it was fading a little bit. But... It's, it wears beautifully. Next, I'm going to talk about my NYX Butter Gloss. Uh, this one's Angel Food Cake. It's a really pretty pink. It's like a, it's kind of like a strawberry pink, I guess you would say. It is right there. It is. It's really pretty. I still wear it, even though it's more of a spring, summer. I still wear it into the fall with a lip liner under it. This next one, Fortune Cookie, it is a nude. And when I bought this, I love a good nude, like I said. So in the summer, even up till recently, I would wear it. And I still wear nudes in the fall and winter, just not a lot. But in the spring and summer, I do. And I've seen this little guy. I bought it. I pair it with my Sandy Nudes um, little blender from Wet n Wild. If you guys can see, it's right here. Like I said, it's very, very nudey. Um, these cost about 4 at Ulta. I think Target now and Walmart started selling NYX here in Arkansas. I don't know if they sell it for most of you guys are Tennessee or other states. So I don't know if they sell them there, but that's where they usually sell them at. Next up is my Moisturizing Renewal Trans Transparent Lip Liner by Rimmel. I bought this at Ulta. It's just white. There's no color to it. Um, it's a good moisturizing if you do not have a lip primer to put on before you put your lip liner on or your lipsticks. It just kind of gives your lips some moisture so it helps it stay. Next one is my eyeliner I just bought. It's Wet n Wild Mega Last Retractable. It is not waterproof, which is fine with me. It is just like that. It's black. I got it in the shade 690A, which is blackest black. Then on this end, it has a smudger. So you can smudge out your eyeliner to everything. It works amazing. I'm wearing it right now. Next, let's put some of this up. Next, we are going to talk, talk about, I apologize if you guys can hear our neighbor's dog barking. I apologize. Next is basically face. First thing is my, my foundation I'm wearing right now. I'm wearing the Wet n Wild Photo Focus in um, porcelain, which is shade 30 or 360C. There's no flashbacks. I wear this all the time. I take selfies with it. I use flash, nothing. Um, I did get this at, it's about $5, but I did get this on sale on Target's website. So if you guys want to, you can check it out again. I got it for $2.69. I don't know if it's still on sale on their website. But I do know Target will cross match in the stores if you show it to them. If you have the cartwheel or if you pull it up, they will give it to you for the price on their website. Next is my foundation brush. It's the Kabuki style. So I just dabble. Um, I got this along with some other brush sets in Ohio from in Ohio for 2017 Christmas from John's mom. She got me and his sister a set. I love them. I use these every day. They're like my go-tos. Uh, this is my blush brush I use. It's by the same set, which is um, X, my, X 
Max Designs. Next thing I want to talk to you about is my Photo Focus Primer. I bought this Monday. I told you guys how I would let you know how it wore and how I liked it. I love it. Like, it gives you, it is also illuminating. It gives you a little bit of, not a glow, but just kind of a very subtle, I guess a little glow. Um, it smooths out my makeup perfectly. It doesn't cake. It doesn't look greasy once I got it on. And it is skin color. It's kind of like a skin color. We will, I'll put a little bit on my hand. No. I have to say, a little does go a long way. So if you guys get this, please go in with a light hand at first. Yeah, um, you guys can see, probably not, but it's on my finger right here. It goes on, and then when it dries, it dries so, so beautifully. Like, it just, like, it's, it's heaven. I like it. For what I paid for it, I would definitely probably get it again for the regular price of five bucks. My next brush is my Expert Face Brush by Roll Techniques. Uh, I use this for basically everything. Um, blush, highlight, bronzer. If I can't find my blush brush or I'm just too lazy to grab it, I'll grab Roll Techniques. When you wash them, they go back to their same way that shape. They're just amazing to have. They're a little, they're not too expensive. They're in the middle. They're not low, low, but they're not high. And they're in the middle. Ulta sells them. Target sells them. I do believe Walmart sells them. So definitely check out Walmart. Uh, Ulta usually has sells on them. You can get sets, singles. Like I said, I got the two eyeshadow brushes in a set for like $4 on sale at Ulta. They are like originally, I think, 10 maybe for both. Next thing is my blush brush. It's just an Ulta brush. I got it in one of the little makeup things that you get when you spend $19.50 or more on purchases. I've had this thing probably since I lived in Florida. And we, I have not lived in Florida since 2015, 14, 2015, I believe. Maybe wrong, 14, 14, 15. Um, so yeah, it's lasted me all the way now from Texas, from Florida, Ohio, Florida, Texas, Ohio, now Arkansas. It's lasted a while. My setting powder that I use, and I bake my eyes underneath with it, is just the Maybelline Fit Me Powder, shade 10, which is fair to light. You get a whole container of it for like six bucks. I get it at Walmart. I love it. I set my under eyes with it, leave it on, wipe it off, and I'm good to go. Love it. Next look, I'm going to get this out of the way. This is a Revolution Makeup Revolution Linda Pro HD Camo Camouflage Conceal Palette. When I bought this, I didn't read it all at first, but I love it. On the back, it actually, oh, no, wrong one, sorry, wrong palette. Open it up, and you have oh, all these shades. You have like a light for different undertones. You can contour. You have like a banana color if you, you know, do that. Or some people will use the darker shades to contour, highlight with. I am practicing on contouring and highlighting. I'm excited to kind of branch out in the makeup and learn how to do a little bit more things in just a five minute makeup, I guess. Next one, I bought this Monday. So if you guys have seen the video, you know that I've been talking about this, wanting to try it. It's the I Heart Revolution Bronze and Glow. It's in the chocolate bar. I used it today. I did not use the highlighter. I did use the bronzer. Let me tell you, a little goes a long way. It, it's a beautiful color. It warms the face without overdoing it or making you look like you're not natural at all. Highlighter, I will actually swatch these for you guys. The bronzer. Is just a if I can get it. It's a very light, light brown, which you may not be able to see, but it's just very light. The highlighter is very beautiful. It's like a champagne light brown. It's just it's gorgeous. Abby Beauty blender that I use to 
set my, I'll use it for my, under our concealer, I use it for everything else. Next two little products I want to talk about before I talk about some other stuff. I got these at Target. They're the Prime and Stay Finishing Powder. This little guy is translucent, fair to light. And you open it up. I've used a lot of it. It looks like that. There's no flashback with them. I love them. My next one is in light to medium. It's the same thing. I use this one now that I'm a little bit darker since I've self-tanned. So I use this one. I use this one today actually to set my face with it. Um, These are like $2 at, like I said, Target sells and Walmart sells at Elf. It's just wherever you guys are at and you see them, if you pick them up. Um, I know you guys, oh, my, um, I want to talk to you about my Maui Moisture Detangler and the um, heat protectant that I bought. I use both of those. The detangler works amazingly. It's just amazing. It smells good. It works good. I was able to brush my hair out without pulling my hair without it being knotted because I do have a lot of hair and it gets tangled and it has knots when it comes out of the when it comes out of the shower so it's just it's always a pain for me and the heat protector I sprayed just on my ends it smells amazing it worked it didn't make it greasy it did what it was supposed to do um I also use yes. Um, hairspray, I use the big can of Freeze It, which I will show you guys. Hang on. This is what I use to spray my hair with. It is, if you guys can see, sorry. It is this, um, it's volumizing. It enhances shine. It's all weatherproof and 24-hour hold. It is also made in the USA. Um, it is humidity resistance, volumizing hole, quick drying, has B5, UV protection. It is non-sticky, non-sticky, non-flaky, and water-free. I've been using this stuff on and off for since about 2012, and I love it. It's just, it's, it's amazing. That whole can will last me, you get 10 ounces for, I think, $6. It is at Walmart. Walgreens sells at Target. Um, they used to smell the smaller cans. I think Walgreens sells them. I don't know. I've not been into Walgreens in a while to see if they still sell these smaller cans. I know they used to. Um, I just like to take a minute and show you all my earrings here. I totally just stick my hair in everything. I had these made from a woman in South Carolina. I found her on Facebook on one of my Clemson groups. You, most of y'all know I'm a huge Clemson fan. So when I seen them, um, Katie's Creations, I'll actually link hers down there. She has so many different earrings to choose from. These were six with free shipping. She also does monogramming ones, which are six with free shipping. She does other college teams. It's for six dollars with free shipping, I'm gonna order me a couple more pairs of the Clemson ones. She has the orange with the white paws, and then she has the like this, but they have the C's, and the C's purple and orange. Um, I'm gonna order me a couple pairs, but the with my initials on them. Holidays are coming up; they're great for gifts. But yes, they are amazing. I literally got them. John got them in the mail when he came home today. I put them on in my outfit. And I wore them ever since I put them in my ears today on um, three, I think. Um, what else? My, for my hair, my hair is naturally wavy, frizzy, curly. So to help it kinda, kinda contain some of its curl and bounce, I have a Remington curling wand, it's purple in rose gold. Um, I use that some days just to help it because it, my hair needs help. It just wants to be frizzy and just poofy. It doesn't want, so yeah, I use that. Uh, my curls will last two, two to three days with it. Like I said, it just helps make, make my frizziness go away and it just locks it in. Yes, um, do I think what else? I believe that was it. Like I said, my lipstick wore perfectly today. It's just 
being able to share my favorite go-to everyday products with you guys is awesome. Um, I do have some more makeup that has been ordered. It's in the mail, so hopefully it'll be here next week sometime. I know John ordered me a couple Urban Decay palettes and other stuff, so I'm ready to play with them, show y'all, swatch them, tell y'all how they wear, what I think about them, all of that stuff, because it's just, I, I love makeup that much now, and I'm getting more into it, you know, um, so if there's any other videos, questions, comments that you guys want me to answer, just leave them in the comments, I will get to them. But I believe that is it for right now. I will, like I said, I will do a few more lives. I might do a get ready with me one day for you guys so you guys can see how I apply all of this makeup to my face and everything. But yeah, I I want to thank you guys for taking time out on your Friday night to watch this. And I will see you guys soon. Have an amazing, amazing weekend.